brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. Sami Zayn Rami Steven Sebe is a Canadian professional wrestler of Syrian descent, who is signed to WWE under the ring name Sami Zayn, where he performs on the SmackDown brand, and is a former NXT champion. Prior to signing with the WWE, Sebe wrestled on the independent circuit under the ring name El Generico using the character of a luchita from Mexico with a catchphrase of Ole. Generico wrestled while masked from his debut in 2002 until 2013. Upon signing with the WWE, Seabay began wrestling without a mask. Generico achieved much success in pro wrestling Gorilla as a two-time PWG World Champion and five-time World Tag Team Champion. He is the only person to have won both of PWG's annual tournaments, the Dynamite Duumvirt Tag Team Title Tournament in 2010 and the Battle of Los Angeles in 2011. Generico has also held the ROH World Television Championship and World Tag Team Championship with Kevin Steen now Kevin Owens, with whom he later earned the 2010 Feud of the Year award. From the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Generico is also a two-time IWS World Heavyweight Champion for the Montreal-based International Wrestling Syndicate. Having wrestled internationally, Generico won the WXW Unified World Wrestling Championship in Germany, and DDT Pro Wrestling's Cody Open Weight Championship in Japan. International Wrestling Syndicate 2002-2009 On July 14, 2002 at Scarred for Life the generic Luchita El Generico made his wrestling debut with the International Wrestling Syndicate in a count-out victory. Pierre Carlo A defeated Generico and Kevin Steen at Blood, Sweat and Beers in a triple threat match on October 18, 2003. On November 15, 2003 at Payback Say Bitch, Generico defeated Kevin Steen in their first ever singles match against each other. IWS held its fifth anniversary show, V, on June 15, 2004 at La Spag where Generico defeated PCO in an IWS title match. For his first IWS World Heavyweight Championship, only to have Kevin Steen reclaim his contendership won earlier that night against XS69. Kevin Steen defeated Generico, also winning his first IWS World Heavyweight Championship. On September 11, 2004 at CZW High Stakes 2, Sexy Eddie defeated Kevin Steen, Generico and XS69 in an IWS four-way match which was unofficially chosen as CZW Match of the Year. On August 20, 2005 at Extreme Dream 2, Chris Bishop defeated Generico in the Extreme Dream Tournament final match becoming the first IWS Canadian champion. On February 16, 2008 at Violent Valentine, Generico defeated Kevin Steen for the IWS World Heavyweight Championship. On March 22, 2008, at Know Your Enemies, Kevin Steen regained the IWS World Heavyweight Championship by defeating Max Boyer and former champion Generico in a three-way match. Pro Wrestling Gorilla 2004-2013 In 2004, members of the IWS started making regular appearances in the United States, which helped him get noticed by the popular independent company Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Since then, Generico has been a PWG regular. He has held the PWG World Tag Team Championship five times with four different partners. With Human Tornado as two skinny black guys, Quicksilver as Cape Fear, Kevin Steen, 
and call London as Peligro Abejas. Generico is also the only participant to consecutively appear in the first eight bowler tournaments from 2005. On February 24, 2007, Generico defeated former partner Tornado to win the PWG World Championship during his title run with Cape Fear. Later that year, while Generico was still world champion, he and Steen defeated Pack and Roderick Strong for the belts, making Generico the only man in PWG history to hold both the world and world tag team titles not once, but twice at the same time. In mid-2009, Generico entered a lengthy feud with the tag team Men of Low Moral Fiber, consisting of Kenny Omega and Chuck Taylor, recruiting Colt Cabana, referee Rick Knox, and former partner Human Tornado to stand by his side. At PWG's sixth anniversary event, Three Men Dis Two, two skinny black guys defeated current champions the Young Bucks in a non-title match giving the Bucks their first tag team loss in almost a year and a half. On November 21, 2009, during the second night of the 2009 Battle of Los Angeles, Generico and Kevin Steen lost a title match against the Bucks. Later, he and Cabana saved the new PWG World Champion Kenny Omega from Brian Kendrick and the Young Bucks and made peace with him as they now had a common enemy. On May 9, 2010, Generico teamed up with intrepid traveler Paul London to form a duo introduced as Peligro Abejas in the fourth annual DDT 48 team tag tournament. After defeating Chuck Taylor and Scott Lost in the first round, and the Briscoe brothers in the semi-finals, Generico and London defeated the Young Bucks in the finals of the tournament to not only win DDT4, but also the PWG World Tag Team Championship, Generico's fifth time he has held the title. On December 11, 2010, El Generico earned himself a shot at the PWG World Championship. When Peligro Abe has successfully defended the PWG World Tag Team Championship against Chris Hero and the PWG World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli, the team known collectively as the Kings of Wrestling, Generico received his shot at the PWG World Championship on January 29, 2011, during the Wrestle Runyon 5 weekend but was defeated by Castagnoli. On April 9, El Generico teamed with Ricochet, who filled in for London who was unable to appear at the event, in a match where they lost the PWG World Tag Team Championship back to the Young Bucks. On August 20, Generico entered the 2011 Battle of Los Angeles, defeating Claudio Castagnoli and Willie Mack in his first round and semi-final matches. Later that same night, Generico defeated old rival Kevin Steen in the finals to win the tournament, becoming the first person to have won the PWG World and World Tag Team Championships as well as the DDT4 and Battle of Los Angeles tournaments. In the process, Generico also earned himself a match for Steen's PWG World Championship. On October 22, El Generico defeated Steen in a ladder match following outside interference from the Young Bucks to win the PWG World Championship for the second time. On March 17, 2012, El Generico re-lost the title to Steen in a three-way match which also included Eddie Edwards. After agreeing to a deal with WWE, El Generico made his farewell appearance for PWG on January 12, 2013, when he and Kevin Steen entered the 2013 Dynamite Duumvirate Tag Team Title Tournament. After wins over the Briscoe brothers and Future Shock, El Generico and Steen were defeated in the finals of the tournament by the Young Bucks.
Ishikara 2005-2012. On February 19, 2005, El Generico made his debut for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania-based Chikara, taking part in the 2005 Tag World Grand Prix, where he teamed with Kevin Steiner's team IWS. The team made it to the quarterfinals of the tournament, before being defeated by the Super Friends. El Generico returned to Chikara three years later to take part in the 2008 King of Trios where he teamed with player Uno and Stupefied again as Team IWS. After defeating the F1 RST family in their first round match on March 1st, Team IWS was eliminated from the tournament later that same day by Los Lucadores de Mexico, who went on to win the entire tournament. The following year, on March 27, El Generico returned for the 2009 King of Trios, this time teaming with Matt and Nick Jackson as Team PWG. They were eliminated from the tournament in the first round by the Osiren Portal. The following day El Generico entered the Raid of Olador's tournament but was defeated by Kota Ibushi in his four-way elimination semi-final match, which also included Jigsaw and Nick Jackson. On the third night of the tournament, El Generico was defeated by Ari Cannon in a singles match. El Generico's next appearance for Chikara occurred almost two years later on January 23, 2011, when he faced Eddie Kingston in a losing effort. For the 2011 King of Trios El Generico came together with 3.0 to form 3.0 La. The team was eliminated from the tournament in the first round by the Osiren Portal. The following day El Generico entered his second raid of Volador's and defeated Pinky Sanchez, Zack Sabre Jr. and Marsh Rocket in his four-way elimination semi-final match to qualify for the following day's finals. The following day El Generico defeated the 1-2-3 Kid in the finals to win the 2011 Raid de Volador's. El Generico returned to Chikara on July 30, 2011, when he reunited 3.0 Le with Scott Parker and Shane Matthews in a six-man tag team match, where they defeated FIST. The following day 3.0 Le was defeated by the Spectral Envoy in a six-man tag team match. Ring of Honor 2005-2012 El Generico first wrestled for Ring of Honor in 2005, earning a spot in a four-corner survival match at Do or Die IV. He teamed with the Ring Crew Express in the Trios Tournament 2005, losing to the Rottweilers. At stalemate, he lost to Roderick Strong, then teaming with Sal Renoro against the Embassy. At New Frontiers, he only received a few more matches, losing to Austin Aries at Fate of an Angel, and getting his first win against fellow AWS alumnus Kevin Steen at the Homecoming. His final ROH match of this run was a loss to Homicide at Dragon Gate Invasion. Generico returned to ROH in late 2006, making an appearance at Dethroned, where he was defeated by Brent Albright. Following this, he took part in a four-corner survival match to Jimmy Rave at Final Battle 2006. In 2007 El Generico formed a permanent team with Kevin Steen, taking on the Briscoe brothers at the Fifth Year Festival, Philly. Much like many previous matches, they were defeated in this encounter, but the two men had a memorable showing that eventually earned them a full-time spot on the roster. Throughout 2007, the two teams feuded with one another having several memorable matches including a great match on the driven pay-per-view. Rose second ever, their feud came to an end following a brutal street fight. 
but death before Dishonor v. Night 1, a steel cage match at Caged Rage, a 2 out of 3 falls match at Manhattan Mayhem 2, and a ladder match advertised as a ladder war at Man Up. This final match became the main event of Rose third pay-per-view. Also during this time, Generico broke out as a singles competitor, having a strong run in the race. To the top tournament of 2007, he defeated Delirious, Chris Hero and Davey Richards only to lose in the final match of the tournament to Claudio Castagnoli. After the feud, with the Briscoes ended, Generico and Steen spent several months feuding with the Hangman 3 in an inconclusive feud that carried on into 2008. They also worked through the tag ranks and attempted to win the tag titles, but came up short in a tag title tournament at Up for Grabs. Generico took ROH world champion Nigel McGuinness to the limited age of insanity, but eventually lost. On September 19, 2008, Generico and Steen finally won the ROH World Tag Team Championship by beating the Age of the Fall. At Driven, Generico lost a second match to McGuinness at Glory by Honor 7. Generico was booked in another match against McGuinness at Caged Collision, which he lost. On April 10, 2009, at a television taping, Generico and Steen lost the ROH World Tag Team Championship to the American Wolves. Generico then suffered a knee injury, sustaining damage to his medial collateral ligament. On December 19, 2009, at Final Battle 2009, Rose's first live pay-per-view, after a loss to the Young Bucks, Steen turned heel by attacking El Generico. He then formed a team with Colt Cabana and together the two of them started a feud with Steen and his new partner Steve Carino. At the following pay-per-view, The Big Bang, Generico, and Cabana defeated Steen and Carino via disqualification, when Steen used a chair on his former partner. On June 19 at Death Before Dishonor 8, Steen defeated El Generico in a singles match. On September 11 at Glory by Honor IX Generico, and Cabana defeated Steen and Carino in a double chain match, when Cabana forced Carino to tap out. After the match Steen attacked El Generico and unmasked him. On December 18, at Final Battle 2010 El Generico and Steen ended the year-long feud in an unsanctioned fight without honor, where Generico put his mask on the line against Steen's ROH career. In the weeks leading up, to the event, Generico debuted a new darker character in an all-black outfit. In the end El Generico won the match and thus forced Steen out of Ring of Honor. On March 2, 2011, ROH announced that El Generico had signed a new contract with the promotion. On April 1, at the first night of Honor Takes Center Stage, El Generico was defeated by Michael Elgin from the House of Truth, led by Truth Martini, following interference from a masked man. The following day, El Generico defeated another member of the House of Truth, Roderick Strong, but was after the match attacked by Elgin and Martini. Cold Cabana came out to make the save, but was stopped by the House of Truth's advantage in numbers. This led to Christopher Daniels coming out, but he ended up turning heel and hitting El Generico with the Book of Truth and Cabana with the Angel's Wings, thus joining the House of Truth, and revealing himself as the man who had cost El Generico his match. During the first night of the pay-per-view, on June 26 at Best in the World 2011, Generico defeated Daniels to win the ROH World Television Championship. He lost the title to Jay Lethal on August 13, at the first Ring of Honor wrestling tapings under the Sinclair Broadcast Group banner. On March 30, 2012, it showdown in the sun.
El Generico faced the reinstated Kevin Steen in a losing effort in a last man standing match. El Generico disappeared from ROH after this, however on October 13. At Glory by Honor She, The Unbreakable Hope. After Steen successfully defended his ROH World Championship, he received a parcel containing Generico's mask. El Generico returned to ROH on December 16 at Final Battle 2012, Doomsday, where he unsuccessfully challenged Steen for the ROH World Championship in a ladder war. This was his last appearance with the company before signing with the WWE. Dragon Gate 2007-2009 Generico traveled to Japan during the summer of 2007, where he worked for the Dragon Gate promotion as the Gaijin representative of the New Hazard stable. He returned to the promotion in July 2008, where he was announced as Toza Wajukas foreign exchange student. El Generico made his third tour of Dragon Gate in October 2009, when he wrestled as a member of the Kamikaze stable. DDT Pro Wrestling 2011-2012 In early 2011 El Generico began making semi-regular appearances. For the Japanese DDT Pro Wrestling sister promotion Union Pro Wrestling, making his debut on January 3rd with a win over Shinichiro Tomonaga. On September 19th, El Generico won his first title in Japan, when he defeated Isami Kodaka for the DDT Extreme Division Championship. After successful title defenses against Shuji Ishikawa, and Sanchiro Takagi, he re-lost the title to Kodaka on January 3, 2012. El Generico has also made some appearances for Union Pro's parent promotion, DDT Pro Wrestling, most notably defeating Kota Ibushi in Ibushi's return match from a shoulder injury on May 4, 2012. On August 18, El Generico wrestled his first match in the Nippon Budokan defeating the debuting Kanosuke Takeshita. On September 30th, El Generico defeated Kota Ibushi to win the Kodi Openweight Championship, DDT's top title. El Generico made his first successful title defense on October 21st in a rematch against Ibushi. On November 25th, El Generico defeated Kodi Tag Team Champion Mikami for his second successful defense of the Cody Openweight Championship. On December 23, El Generico lost the Cody Openweight Championship to Kenny Omega in his third defense. Dragon Gate USA in Evolve 2012 on March 31, 2012, El Generico made his debut for Dragon Gate USA when he defeated Chuck Taylor, Seema, Linz Dorado, Rich Swan, and Samamri Del Sol in a six-way match. On April 13, El Generico made his debut for Evolve, a promotion closely affiliated with DG USA, losing to Low Key. After another loss, to Ricochet on May 11, El Generico picked up his first win in the promotion on May 12 by defeating Sammy Callahan. El Generico then had two singles matches against Samamri Del Sol. The first on June 28 at Evolve 14 was won by El Generico and the rematch the following day at Evolve 15 was won by Samamri. El Generico returned to Dragon Gate USA on July 28 when he and Samamri were defeated in a tag team match by R. Fox and Seema. On September 8, El Generico and Samamri Del Sol faced off in another Evolve main event, which was won by El Generico. On November 4, the Dragon Gate USA's Freedom Fight 2012, El Generico teamed 
with Samuri in a tag team match where they defeated Genki Horiguchi and Ryo Saito. The two continued the winning ways on December 8 at Evolve 18, where they defeated the Super Smash Brothers. Other promotions from 2005 onwards, El Generico has made several appearances for the German Westside Extreme Wrestling promotion. On March 4, 2012, El Generico defeated Tommy N to win WXWS 2012-16 Carat Gold Tournament. On May 19, El Generico defeated Big Van Walter to also win the WXW Unified World Wrestling Championship. On August 12, 2012, he lost the title to Axel Tischer in a four-way match, which also included Bad Bones and Karsten Beck. In October 2009 El Generico traveled to Poland to take part in Do or Die Wrestling's event in Warsaw defeating Michael Kovac in the main event of the show. In May 2010, Generico competed in the main event of Capital City Championship Combat's show, Stand Alone. On October 23, Generico competed at Pro Wrestling Superstars inaugural show in Jacksonville, North Carolina, where he teamed with Paul London to defeat Joey Sylvia and Jake Manning. On January 11, 2011 El Generico wrestled in a tryout dark match for total non-stop action wrestling at the promotion's impact, tapings, losing to Amazing Red. The following day he defeated TJ Perkins in another dark match. On April 20, 2011, El Generico made his South American debut when he wrestled for Peruvian promotion leader Wrestling Association, facing Apocalypsis, Axel, and Kaiser in a number one contenders match to determine a challenger for CAOZ, the promotions. Campon Maximo. In the end, Kaiser came out of the match victorious. On April 24, El Generico wrestled for Chilean promotion Explosion National de Lucha, losing to Crazy Sid in an XNL Championship No. 1 Contenders 3-way match, which also included XL. On February 26, 2012, El Generico visited Russia for the first time, making his debut for the Independent Wrestling Federation, where he faced Ivan Locomotive. Mark Hoffman won. Later in the year, on September 16, they wrestled in a rematch and this time Markov was victorious. On September 8, 2012, Generico made an appearance for Combat Zone Wrestling, unsuccessfully challenging Masada for the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. After signing with WWE, El Generico made his final Canadian independent appearance on January 18, 2013, when he worked for the Heart Legacy Wrestling promotion in Calgary. In the opening four-way elimination match, El Generico and Samamri del Sol were victorious over Cam, Kaze and Pete Wilson, Brian Cage, and Trent Beretta and Andrew Hawk and Ryan Rollins. As a result, the two earned a spot in a main event 10-man tag team match where they teamed with Beretta. Davy Boy Smith, Jr. and Jack Evans in a losing effort against the team of Teddy Hart, Brian Cage, Cam, Kaze, Flip Kendrick and Pete Wilson, with Generico being pinned for the win by Hart. NXT 2013-2016 on January 9, 2013 it was reported that Seabay had signed with WWE. The following day, it was specified that Seabay and WWE had agreed to a verbal deal that would be signed after Seabay passed all drug and medical tests. On January 30, it was reported that Seabay had passed his medical tests and officially signed his contract with WWE. On February 13, Seabay made his debut for WWE's developmental territory NXT, but did not wrestle.
Seabase NXT in ring debut took place at a live event on March 7 in Tampa, Florida, where he wrestled a tag team match while working unmasked and under his real name. Seabay eventually settled on the ring name Sami Zayn. Zayn made his televised debut on the May 22 NXT by defeating two former champions in WWE. First defeating Kurt Hawkins in the opening match and then challenging and scoring an upset win over Antonio Cesaro later in the show. The following week he took part in an 18-man battle royal to determine the number one contender to the NXT Championship but was eliminated by Mason Ryan. On the June 12 NXT, Zayn suffered his first pinfall loss in NXT in a rematch with Cesaro. On the July 17 NXT, Zayn failed to win another contender match also involving Cesaro and Leo Kruger. On the July 31st NXT, Zayn teamed with NXT champion Bo Dallas against Cesaro and Kruger. After Cesaro and Zayn brawled to the back, Dallas lost the match and later blamed Zayn for the loss. On the August 21st NXT, Cesaro defeated Zayn in a two out of three falls match. To conclude the feud, on September 6, Zayn made his WWE debut at a house show in his hometown of Montreal, where he defeated Cesaro. When Zayn targeted Dallas NXT Championship, Dallas cost Zayn his match against Cesaro's fellow real American, Jack Swagger. Dallas held an open challenge to determine the next title contender, but banned Zayn from competing, so Zayn masqueraded as the Marsdale local and defeated Dallas to earn his title shot. The match occurred on the October 16 NXT. General Manager JBL restarted the match when Zayn won despite Dallas' foot being on the ropes. Dallas sent Zayn into an exposed turnbuckle to retain his title. In November 2013, after tying a beat-the-clock challenge with Adrian Neville by defeating Leo Kruger, Zayn lost a number one contender's match to Neville on the November 27 NXT. Zayn moved on to feud with Kruger, and the feud culminated in Zayn winning a two out of three falls match on the January 1, 2014 NXT. After that, Zayn's obsession with his loss to Antonio Cesaro the previous year led to him challenging Cesaro to a rematch on the February 27 NXT rival. Cesaro prevailed again, but showed respect to Zayn after the match. Corey Graves then feuded with Zayn, with Zayn losing to Graves via referee stoppage on the April 3rd episode of NXT after Graves capitalized on Zayn's head injury. On the May 8th episode of NXT, Zayn participated in a 20-man battle royal for a NXT championship shot, with Zayn being involved in a three-way tie. As a result, Zayn faced the other two winners, Tyler Breeze and Tyson Kidd in a triple threat match on the next episode of NXT, where Kidd won to become contender. At NXT TakeOver, Zayn lost to Breeze in another contender match. In June 2014, Zayn went on to feud with Tyson Kidd after Kidd abandoned him. During the match against the NXT Tag Team Champions, The Ascension, after Zayn defeated Justin Gabriel, both Kid and Gabriel attacked Zayn, who was saved by his friend NXT champion Adrian Neville. Zayn later defeated Kid twice to end the feud, once in a singles match on the July 17 episode of NXT, as well in a tag match with Adam Rose against Gabriel and Kid, which was the first round of a tournament for an opportunity at the NXT Tag Team Championship. Zayn and Rose lost in the second round to the Lucha Dragons, when Zayn, Kid and Tyler Breeze each staked a claim for an NXT Championship match. Champion Neville agreed to face all three in a four-way match at the next NXT TakeOver event.
to hype that match Zayn and Neville appeared on the September 8, 2014 episode of Raw where they defeated Breeze and Kidd while making the main roster debuts. At NXT TakeOver, Fatal 4-Way, Zayn nearly won the 4-Way match in the NXT Championship. But champion Adrian Neville stopped him by dragging the referee out of the ring. Neville went on to win and retain his title. This caused tension within Neville and Zayn's friendship. After Zayn lost another match, this time to Titus O'Neil, he vowed to start a road to redemption, leading to the NXT Championship, which saw him defeat Tyson Kidd, Titus O'Neil, and Tyler Breeze in singles matches. Zayn was rewarded with a title match against Neville on the November 13 episode of NXT. Neville appeared to injure himself during the match, but he took advantage on Zayn checking on him. To defeat Zayn, Neville agreed to Zayn's request for a title rematch, with Zayn vowing to quit NXT if he lost. On December 11, 2014 at the NXT TakeOver R Evolution Live Special, Zayn defeated Adrian Neville to win the NXT Championship. After the win, Zayn was king, congratulated by many other NXT wrestlers, including Neville and Kevin Owens. The show ended, with Owens powerbombing Zayn onto the ring apron to ruin the reunion. In his first title defense, Zayn defeated Neville in a rematch on the January 14, 2015 episode of NXT, but suffered another post-match attack by Owens. After an irate Zayn demanded a match against Owens. Even if it meant putting the title on the line, a title match was set for NXT TakeOver rival. At the event, Owens captured the title from Zayn via referee stoppage. Having power bombed a disorientated Zayn five times, ending his NXT Championship reign at 62 days. On the May 4th episode of Raw, Zayn made a cameo after he was introduced by Bret Hart as John Cena's opponent for his weekly U.S. Open Challenge for his United States Championship taking place in his hometown of Montreal. Zayn was heavily favored by the crowd over Cena, but ultimately lost the match. Cena, however, let Zayn have the ring to an outstanding ovation from the live crowd following the match. After the show, it was reported that Zayn had suffered a shoulder injury and would undergo an MRI for further analysis, which he legitimately injured before the match even started. At NXT TakeOver Unstoppable, Zayn had his NXT Championship rematch against Kevin Owens, which ended in a no contest due to Zayn being unable to continue the match. Owens continued assaulting Zayn until the debuting Samoa Joe made the save. After a seven-month hiatus, Zayn returned from injury on the December 23 episode of NXT and defeated Ty Dillinger. On April 1, Zayn lost to Shinsuke Nakamura in the latter's debut match at NXT TakeOver Dallas, after which both were given a standing ovation. And while Nakamura left the ring, Zayn was left waving goodbyes to the NXT fans, signaling his final appearance in NXT. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by Wikivity Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.